welcome to this week's vlog. We I'm currently in the car. We are trying to get Minnie to get in the car, and she, for some reason, will not get in here, which makes absolutely no sense because she loves getting in the car. We're literally just driving to Dunkin' Donuts and, like, coming back, and she won't get in the car. Like, I'm sitting in the back seat, like, trying to lure her back here, and it's not, not working. Um... So it's about 7.30-ish. We're trying to get some errands run before we start getting tackling the rest of the stuff in the house because baby furniture's coming and stuff like that. Um, got her. <laughs> um, so yeah, the baby furniture's coming and things like that. So we got things to do and places to be and all that jazz. So we're going to go get donuts now that the dog finally got in the car. <laughs> and I will check on with you guys later. Hey guys, so it's about 11 o'clock. No, it's not. It's like 10, 15. I don't know where I got 11. Same thing with the last update. I said it was 7.30 and it was 8 o'clock. So clearly I can't tell time today. Um, I just finished all of our, like my chores that I was going to do today. I vacuumed all the rooms. I um, vacuumed the couch. And now I'm just exhausted. Um, I cleaned up my reading room and the baby room is ready to go for when um, the furniture comes so all the furniture is out of there so I'm just waiting to take a shower but my husband's in it right now because he obviously has to leave before me so um, I decided not to do the glucose test today if you watched my last vlog I was potentially getting a glucose test done today but my doctor kind of gave me within a week to do it so I'm just kind of like I'm gonna go a different time because I had donuts today and lots of sugar so probably not the good time to go um, so yeah, I'm just waiting to get in the shower. We decided to try letting Minnie upstairs, which is risky. I don't know why we decided to do that, but she's up here with me and we're trying it out, seeing if maybe that'll help her and the cat be a little bit better friends. Um, we'll see. So I'm just trying to like regain energy because I feel like at this point too right now, I'm not ready to get in a shower after like all that work. So I'm gonna try to read a little bit and then shower and my goal is to also film some videos today so the rest of the day is up to me until the banquet time so I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys so it's about three o'clock and I've just been reading I'm on page like 250 out of 480 pages so I'm almost done but I realized that I haven't shared stop wiggling the mirror I haven't shared a baby bump update in a really long time. Um, I start my third trimester on Monday. I'll be 28 weeks, so I figured I would show you the best I can. I wasn't thinking I'm wearing black, so I don't know how well it'll show, but there's that bump. It's bumping, bumping out. It's hanging out. Um, and basically, like, it's so funny. I went to the doctor the other day, and they told me I weighed um, 150 pounds, which means I've gained about 25 pounds. But, like, I am literally, like, everybody keeps telling me that I am legitimately all belly. I've gained weight nowhere else. Not in my face, not in my arms, not in my butt. Like, nowhere. I'm literally all baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just figured I'd share that update with you. I might try to grab some food really quick before my parents get here because they're going to come for when the baby furniture is delivered. Um, but so I just wanted to be like nice and ready. So I'm going to go downstairs, maybe grab something to eat, and then keep reading until they get here. So yeah, that's my update for right now update two minutes later I totally forgot that I was gonna film a video so I'm gonna do that actually really fast it's so weird having her up here I can't get used to it yet so I'm gonna do a last five reads video and then I will go eat I did not just she's crazy this is like her excitement level because she's like in new territory so yeah, I'm gonna try to film with her let's see how this goes <laughs> wish me luck Hey guys, so I totally realized that I never updated before I left the house. It's about 5.51. I just got to the golf course to be at the banquet. The furniture got there at 4.30 and I couldn't stay for the whole thing because I had to leave by 5 in order to get here on time. So unfortunately, I don't have any like footage of the final product, but it's kind of not final anyways because we ended up getting a surprise and the crib ended up showing up with the shipment, which it wasn't supposed to because we bought it separately. Like my parents bought all the pieces and my in-laws bought the crib. So we bought them at separate times. So I was like, okay, there's no way they're going to show up on top like that together. It's just not, it wasn't supposed to be that way. So they ended up delivering the crib and the crib is like the one thing that we have to like put together. The dressers came fully put together so 
I don't have any footage to put in right this second, but I'm hoping that we will be able to put that together either this weekend or soon within this vlog uh, experience. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go inside and enjoy some dinner with my family. So my husband's here, my in-laws are here, and my brother-in-law is here. So, and see some of my husband's work friends because this is like a fundraiser for his school. So... I'm going to go in and I will check in with you guys after. I didn't end up um, reading anything else either because I ended up editing my vlog instead. So that's that. I'll see you later. Hi guys. So it's Sunday morning. It's about 9 o'clock-ish. We are about to run some errands, get some groceries and stuff like that. But I figured I would do a reading update because I read a little bit more this morning. I'm now on page... 239 so basically 240 no did I say 240 yeah no 340 so I've got about 140 pages to go so we're gonna run errands and I'm hopefully gonna bang this out today it is Father's Day I don't know what our plans are we like really dropped the ball this Father's Day and I don't know what we're doing so we're gonna have to figure that out at some point today too so I don't know we're gonna go run errands and I will check back in with you guys after So it's about a little after nine o'clock and I'm just going to do a quick update before bed. I'm on page 356 of this, so I didn't get much farther. Um, we ended up completely finishing what we could of the baby's room right now. So like put the crib up, put all the stickers up. So you saw that and we like arranged the furniture the way we wanted it. And we had my parents over for dinner and of course they came early. <laughs> We told them, hey, like, come at 5.30, and then we couldn't get dinner on on time, so I texted her to tell her to come at 6, and she said, okay, and then came at 5.30 anyways. So, that was fun, because I was going to catch up on reading at that point, and I couldn't. So, it was productive, like, we got groceries done for the week, we got the baby's room done, all the laundry is done, so, like, I definitely accomplished stuff, I just did not finish my book like I wanted to and then my dad got sucked into the golf tournament that's going on right now so we had to watch that and now I'm just pure exhausted and I'm gonna go to sleep so hopefully I can finish this tomorrow we just have professional development from 8 to 3 so I could probably finish a bit of it in the morning and then if I don't finish it then obviously I can finish in the afternoon so that's my goal anyways finish it and maybe start something new but We'll see how it goes. So, off to Monday morning, dreamland, whatever you call it, words. What are they? I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Monday, and I'm getting ready for work. Last week of work, woot, woot, cannot wait to be done. Um, this week, I've got two professional days. Um, today, we're working on some curriculum stuff, whole district. And tomorrow we have like specific things that like the entire the entire district is doing. Um, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is curriculum that like I volunteered to do, which is not volunteering you get paid for it, but like I volunteered to do some extra hours, so it's my own fault. But um, so that's what this week looks like. So it's definitely like less stressful. There's no kids. There's no real like oblig like there's obligations, but nothing too intense I guess you could say so I'm getting ready for work right now but I have continued reading this morning the secrets at the beach house by Diane Chamberlain because like I said last night my goal is to finish this book I only have that little bottom part left I'm on page 422 no 423 out of eight 483 so I've got about 60 pages to go and I cannot wait to be done with this book like I'm kind of upset that I switched my TBR because this book I'm not enjoying at all and I feel like what if I just stuck to the other one would I have enjoyed it more <laughs> like um, unfortunately this book is just so everywhere like these two main characters keep figurating around each other and like figurating around life and just like it's irritating like 
they make a decision and then they change their mind and then they go make a different decision and they change their mind and they want each other but they don't want each other and oh my god it's just too much too much too long this is just too much and I like love Diane Chamberlain to pieces I've read over 20 of her books they feel like I can't remember how many I've read of hers but I've read almost all of them I only have like three or four more that I haven't and this has got to be probably one of my least favorites that I've read by her. This was originally published as Private Relations, and they just republished it last year with a new cover and a new name, and I'm like, maybe they did that to make people like who didn't like the other one forget about it and read it again. I don't know, but like, it is just, no, 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 no. And I've looked at other people's reviews too, like since not liking it. I'm like, am I the only person who doesn't like this thing? And there's a lot of people who are Diane Chamber like diehard Diane Chamberlain lovers, and they are also saying the same thing. So I feel at least I am not alone in this feeling, but geez, it's bad. Um, so I'm gonna finish getting ready for work, and I will see you guys when I get home, and I'm hopefully gonna have that book done. That's my goal. Hey guys, so it's about five o'clock and I just finished Secrets at the Beach House by Diane Chamberlain. So I finally made it. I gave it like 2.53 stars. Unfortunately, this is probably my least favorite book by her. Just too much all over the place, too much drama, too much negative. It just like, if it could just find a focus, it would have been so much better. Um, I'm probably going to watch some YouTube videos to catch up because I'm way behind and then possibly start something else tonight. I don't know. I'm already like, I feel myself falling asleep already. So we'll see, but this is done. I made it. Good morning guys. So it's Tuesday. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't end up updating last night. I really started to not feel so great. So I ended up going to sleep at like eight o'clock last night. So there was nothing really to update. Um, we like ate dinner and then I just ended up passing out. I really didn't feel so great. But that's besides the point. It's now Tuesday. Today is the last day of school, even though I'm going in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So today is like the last official day for teachers and then curriculum starts. Um, but I did start a new book and I started Every 15 Minutes by Lisa Scottline. I didn't get very far. I'm only 50 pages in and this baby is a chunker. I debated switching this out of my TBR and then I was like, you know what? I've been avoiding it for so long. If I continue to avoid it, it's never going to, it's going to sit on my shelf for another two years. So this is for the book that's the oldest on my shelf. And it's not necessarily the oldest, but it's definitely been there for over two years at this point. So I figured it was time to finally get to it. And if I decide I like it, then I keep reading. And then if I don't, I DNF it. So I decided I was going to give it a shot. So, so far, so good. It's quickly paced because the chapters are short. So I think I'm going to enjoy it. But I know with Lisa, she can get to be a little tedious and a little long and not really quick paced. So we'll have to see how this turns out. But I'm going to go to work and I will check in with you guys this afternoon. Good morning everybody, happy Wednesday. I am sorry that I didn't end up updating last night. I like, just didn't feel like it. <laughs> um, so I ended up getting to page 160 in my book, so I've still got a long ways to go, um, but I'm at least making progress. I just feel like Lisa has a way of adding chapters that don't add to the story at all, so it makes it slow down just a little bit because in this book there's a psychologist who, um, is going through a lot in his life. He's getting a divorce. His He's trying to fight for custody for his daughter. He's seeing this patient that he has concerns about. He works in a hospital. So like he's got a lot going on. And like there's a whole chapter about them like debating if they should bring this certain like drug to the hospital. And I was like, was this really necessary? Did this really need to be in this book? Like, so like she adds a lot of detail that isn't necessarily important to the story. Um, but so far it's going well. I didn't get to read it all this morning because it's actually 6.20. It's actually earlier than normal. Um, we are supposed to be doing curriculum writing today, tomorrow, and Friday. And the group I got assigned to is 8 hour days. So it's either going to be 8 to 4, which just felt like torture, or 7 to 3. So we're like, we'll just get up earlier and get out earlier. So... That's what we're doing. So summer is almost here. I just have two more wake ups um, and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to finish 
um, eating my breakfast and getting ready for the day, but I just wanted to do a quick check-in. <laughs> Happy Thursday. So these days are flying and I'm not doing any updating and I'm so sorry. Um, it's about 6.30 in the morning. I'm getting ready to go to my lovely day of writing curriculum. Um, I have not been feeling so great. I told you that the day before and then I came back again last night not feeling so great. We've just kind of been watching movies and trying to just relax because I really have not been feeling that wonderful. And I don't know if it's like sitting all day like because that's such a different thing than what I'm used to. I don't know but like it hasn't been good. So I'm glad that I only have today and hopefully tomorrow and be done. I'm like really hoping because we got a lot of work done yesterday. I like wish I could be like if we get it all done today do we have to come in tomorrow. Like I will take the like six hour, not six hour, like the eight hour pay cut, like that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, so last night we ended up watching the new Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston movie on Netflix. Um, I forgot what it's called. Murder Mystery or something like that. It was really good. Um, not my new favorite movie, but definitely was funny and good to watch last night when I wasn't feeling that great. Um, so I'm reading the book still. That feels like it will never end. I'm on page 247. So I'm over halfway at this point, but it is taking me forever because, like I said yesterday, she writes with so many details that it's just, it's dragon. And when I don't feel good, obviously I'm not reading. So um, I'm hoping that today is a little bit of a different story and that I could come home and power through, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, Patrick would also like to go to the movies at some point this week, and I've been, like, putting him off because I haven't been feeling great. And it's supposed to thunderstorm tonight, so I don't know. I don't know what my plans are, but I'm going to go get ready for work, and I will hopefully, this time for real, check in with you this afternoon. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so it's about six o'clock. Don't worry, I'm not getting in bed just yet. I'm about to plug in my phone so I can go take a shower. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update. Um, after work today, I ended up going out to go watch the soccer game with my husband and some friends at Buffalo Wild Wings, and then we came home to grab the mouse, and then my parents are going away to Disney. Lucky them. For the next week, so we went back to their house just to see what we need to do because we're taking care of their pets in their house this week so went there and we just got home but I wanted to share some book mail with you too because I'm probably not going to include these in a book haul until July even though I got them in June because I don't plan on buying any more books in June um but earlier either it was either in this vlog or the last vlog I talked about how I got a gift card for embracing diversity in my classroom for Barnes and Noble so I used my Barnes and Noble coupons and that to um get two books even though like it didn't fully cover us. I basically paid for one of them, but I just wanted to show you what they were. So the first book I grabbed was um, Little Mercies by Heather Gudenkoff. And I saw this on Lindsay's Little Libraries um, video. And then I saw somebody else haul it and I was like, maybe it's a sign that like I totally need to get this book. So I got this book. I wanted to possibly like to try something else instead of necessarily this one by her but I was like wait you don't know anything else about any of them anyway so I might as well just start with this one I believe this is about a woman who has a daughter and I guess she's a social worker or something like that and she has to go to the scene and when she goes to the scene she like deals with it and whatnot she comes back to her car, her car and she, she realizes that she actually left her daughter in the car and it was like 100 degrees or something like that and I don't believe the daughter makes it I'm not sure but sounds suspenseful sounds interesting Diane Chamberlain is quoted on the back and I love her Jodi Picoult is on there too so it should be good I'm excited it's really short it's way shorter than I thought it's only like about 300 pages so that should be fun and then the next one I got is kind of a one that I'm putting my neck on the line for. I don't know if I'm going to love it or hate it. And that's Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I've had my eye on this for a while, but I haven't been able to pull the trigger because I've been really nervous about it. It's very taboo. It's about a girl who moves into her boyfriend's house with his father. And then I believe they kind of fall in love instead. And he, she's 19 and he's 38, so... 
it's an interesting age gap. Um, so it's not like completely unbelievable, but also like really sketchy at the same time. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm intrigued to say the least, but I picked this one up. So yeah, I'm about to go take a shower. And then my goal tonight is to try to get as far as I can in every 15 minutes. Get this done would be awesome because I was just talking to Shelby and she got her books for, um, to read Ellen Hildebrand's book for Summerathon, and she was talking about possibly reading it this weekend, so I really desperately need to finish this before then, so that way I could buddy read it with her, because I've been dying to put, pick it up, so my goal is to get as far as I can in that, but I'm already getting tired, so we'll see, but I will check in with you, hopefully either tonight or tomorrow morning, no promises, because again, I'm showering, so you know how sometimes I look crazy after showering, so we'll see. But either way, I'll update you. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It's about 6.30. I realized that I never updated you <laughs> last night, like I promised. I finished every 15 minutes, and then I passed right out. Like, right out. Like, I think I sent, like, a text message, and then I passed out. Um, because I was just so tired. We ended up having some Dairy Queen last night. Um, we were low on milk, so my husband had to go out to the store to get it anyways. And he was going to the... Um, gas station because he was like oh I might as well get gas too and I was like does uh, uh, cotton candy blizzards just happen to be on your way which it's totally not but he went out and got blizzards anyway so we had some Dairy Queen in bed and then I just finished my book and fell asleep um, I ended up giving it three stars I didn't love it the twist definitely was like it made it worth it to like plug through because it wasn't something that I saw coming but at the same time it was so long like over 400 pages for like a mystery thriller doesn't need to be that way and like especially this one didn't need to be that long like I like when I think about like the middle of the book I'm like what really happened not a ton um so yeah I would have liked it to be definitely more condensed that's for sure so this morning I'm starting it a little early um I started Summer of 69 by Ellen Hildebrand this is for the challenge to read a book with the author that starts with E so Ellen Hildebrand. Um, I'm supposed to be reading this with Shelby starting tomorrow, but I started today. Don't tell her. Just kidding. I already told her. <laughs> um, I'm 30 pages in, so I've only read the prologue in the first chapter. So far, I'm enjoying it. I always enjoy Ellen Hildebrand's stories. I really don't know too much about what it's about because I didn't read the synopsis. So far in the prologue, we learned that this family of kind of not missed fam like it was almost like two families merged into one, like the mom had children with a man that she was married to and then he died and she married somebody else and had another child so like this kind of jointed together family um the son gets called to go to Vietnam and then we are following the next perspective was what his youngest sister and like what she's going through this summer she's gonna be turning 13 they're making her go to Nantucket because the mom wants to stay behind with her oldest sister who is having a baby so and she's not really thrilled about going so it seems like we're going to be following this whole family through the summer of 69 and see what era it takes us I don't really know so I'm excited I enjoyed the first 30 pages today's the last day of curriculum writing thank Jesus I'm exhausted um so I'm going to get ready to go there and then hopefully I'm hoping they'll let us go early because we finished everything we needed to do yesterday so I'm hoping that today is just like a wrap-up day and they'll let us go a little bit early because I just, I can't sit for eight more hours in that room. Um, it's been crazy because it's been like sub-degree weather in there. So I've been dressing for like winter all week. Like literally like I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt under here. I've got this and I'm probably bringing another sweatshirt. That's how cold it's been. So I think that's also why I haven't been feeling so great. So, and I'm running out of things that to wear that fit me. Because I didn't obviously buy any maternity stuff for winter because I wasn't this big when it was super cold. So now I'm like, what do I wear? So I'm going to finish getting ready and I will check in with you guys this afternoon. Hey, I just thought I would do a quick update. It's about 7.30. We are on the, our way to my parents' house to take care of their pets. And I just figured I would do a really quick reading update. I'm on page 110 out of 418. Um on the summer of 69 and I have to say I feel like this is finally getting me out of my like what I call it my rut 
Um, I feel like in the beginning, like in like April, May, I was reading a lot of books, like four stars. I was doing really great. And then all of a sudden this month, like everything has been like three stars or less except like one book. So like I was in a big rut, but I feel like this book is going to at least get four stars out of me. I'm really enjoying it. It's reading really quickly and I'm really glad that I finally get to read it. So we're going to go take care of the pets and then see where the night takes us. So it's about 9.30 and I'm about to crash. We ended up coming home and watching some TV so I didn't get any further in this but I'm excited to say that I at least started it. You're going to have to wait till the next vlog to see how I feel about it but I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. I was just texting Shelby. She got to the point where I am at and we were like gushing about like what could be happening and what's like misleading and it's been good so far. So I'm going to go to sleep. I don't have to set an alarm which is awesome. Um, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, looks like we're getting a visitor. It's Bella. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.